In light of the breaking announcement a few hours ago by FBI Director Comey stating there will be no charges filed against Clinton regarding her email scandal, in spite the fact that an additional 650,000 emails were discovered on Uma Abedin's estranged husband, Anthony Weiner's laptop, despite the fact that Comey himself outlined the breadth and depth of her malfeasance in this scandal, despite the fact he acknowledged she lied to the FBI and Congress, despite the fact that she did have classified emails on her private server, despite the fact that she did not turn over all work-related emails, despite the fact she destroyed evidence in the investigation after receiving a congressional subpoena to turn over documents and devices, it should be obvious to most of us that not only the top law enforcement division of the nation, the FBI, but the Justice Division has been politicized to support an agenda that represents government's private position regarding the fate of America. It baffles the mind that the FBI would announce that they were reopening the case last week if the information discovered was not pertinent to the original investigation. One thing is for certain, Comey never fails to disappoint. This fact aside, it should now be evident that the election process is rigged and Hillary has been pre-selected as the next president of the United States. Too much is at stake regarding a potential defeat of the globalist plans for world domination to allow an outsider like Trump to rein in the political corruption in the organized crime syndicate we collectively call government. I, for one, do not believe Clinton has a prayer of winning the popular vote and that Trump will probably win by a landslide. However, they have that base covered as well by handing over the election by coercion and corruption of the electoral vote, thumbing their nose at the will of the people. From the Soros' voting machines to fraudulent ballots and voter registrations to documented findings regarding vote rigging by electronic ballot machines, it would seem they have all the bases covered, but they don't. I say we go low tech on election day this Tuesday, especially in the battleground states of Arizona, Colorado, Florida, Iowa, Michigan, Nevada, New Hampshire, North Carolina, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Virginia, and Wisconsin. If you support Trump, wear red to the polls above the waist in the form of a ball cap, t-shirt, armband, etc. Make sure your solidarity selection does not contain Trump's name, as in many states, you will be asked to remove campaign solicitations before casting your vote. Video your polling location, but make sure you're 100 feet from the polling area. It is obvious that the digital vote tabulations will reflect the outcome they desire. However, video documentation cannot be disputed. Even if some of you feel you have to hold your nose and vote for Trump, at least you won't have to open your pockets to the government, relinquish your rights and national sovereignty, and surrender your country to the globalist agenda. If this message resonates with you, share it with everyone and get out to vote.